These phonics lessons are offered as a free resource out of love for Jesus Christ. They are for non-profit, educational use only. Do you know what all the vowels are? Try to say their names now. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U, and sometimes Y. Now let's review their short vowel sounds. Go. A, E, I, A, A, I. Again. A, E, I, A, A, I. This lesson, we're going to look at long vowel sounds. The first long vowel sound we're going to look at is A. It says its name, A. But first, we're going to talk about the difference between long and short vowels and what is a long and a short vowel. According to Margaret Bishop in the ABCs and all the tricks, these terms, long and short, are not arbitrary labels for the contrasting sounds of vowels spelled by the same letter. If you pronounce each short vowel separately, your mouth will make only one movement while producing each sound, and each one will leave your mouth open. If you pronounce each long vowel sound separately, your mouth will make two movements while producing each sound. For each one, your mouth will open to begin the sound, and then glide shut to end the sound. A short vowel is short because it involves only one motion of the mouth, opening. A long vowel is long because it involves two motions of the mouth, opening and then closing. The long A sound of A, A, is shown in the dictionary and in UPP by a straight line over the letter. The letter A can make the sound A, or A followed by a consonant followed by a silent E. Also, AI and AY usually make the long sound of A. A. Try the top line. These are words that make the long sound of A because it's A followed by a consonant followed by a silent E. Try all five words now. F A D, fade, B A K, bake, K A V, cave, W A D, wade, G R A P, grape. Now try the second group of words, where A I makes a long sound of A. A m aim b a t bait t r a o trail. Now try the last group where a y says a. S A say P A pay P R A pray K L A clay. Now look at these last two groups of words. Do you see any pattern from where the A I and A Y go in the words? Think about it for a minute, and then I will tell you the spelling rule. Pause if you need more time to think before I tell you the rule. 
You can see some examples again in these groups of words. As in the second line of words, AI occurs in the middle of the word. AY will occur at the end of a word. Now let's try these groups of long A words now. Try the first line. Made, ape, brave. Try line two, the middle line. Faith, claim, wait. Try the last line. Bray, stray, day. Now, another spelling rule. In the English language, a word is not allowed to end with V. Therefore, a word ending in VE can either have its short or long sound. Many words, like in the first group, will have their normal long sound. However, the last word has a short sound. It just has an E added at the end. We don't know why. Some people joke that it's to keep the V from falling over. Try the first group of long A V words now. Save Cave, brave. Now, try the exception word at the bottom. Remember, it will have its short A sound. Have. Now, we're going to do some spelling. Spell the word fame. What is the price of fame? Okay, now we'll have another spelling word. Spell rail. The train goes along its rail. Okay. Now one more spelling word. Spell play. The children like to play. Okay. Now we're going to look at some words where G is pronounced as a J, J, because it is before E. They also have a long A because it's a A followed by a consonant followed by a silent E. Try these words now. Age, age, s age, sage, w age, wage, age, sage, wage. Words ending in C E will have the C pronounced as S because it's before an I, E, or Y. These words also have long A because it's A, a consonant, and a silent E. Try them now.
ace, ace, the ace, face, the r ace, brace, ace, face, brace. Now, try these three words. Remember what happens to C's and G's when they're before an I, E, or Y. Rage, mace, grace. Now, some more spelling. Spell the word lace. Her skirt was hemmed with lace. Okay, now spell wage. He earned a decent wage. All right, now we're going to look at some letter combinations that sometimes say A. E I usually says another sound, but sometimes we'll say a long A. A. EY also usually makes another sound, however, at the end of some short common words it says A. Now our spelling words. Just like AI and AY, the one ending in I, EI, will make long A in the middle of words, the one ending in Y, EY, makes a sound A at the end of words. Sound these out now. The ain, vein, the a, they. Now try these. The a o, veil, wa a, way, veil, way. When words with a silent E add an S, they will either have the S or Z sound. That which sound comes should follow automatically for people who are native speakers of English. Words with G-E-S, the E will be pronounced with a schwa A uh, and the S as Z. Us. Try these words now. Bakes, rolls, ages. Now try these. Makes, rates, tails, pains. Pages, ranges, go. Railway. Embrace. Plaintiff. Sustain. May Day, 
mailman. Now, try these nonsense words. Wait, mate. Stale gate. One small letter change can make a big difference. Sound each of these out left to right, paying careful attention to each of the letters. Go. Clay. Cray, gray. Trail, train, trait. Crane, grain. Stay, stray, spray. Try sounding out these words with their UPP markings showing their exceptions. From, of, his. Now, a syllable division rule. For some special words, we'll see that were used in olden times. If you add make and f, you don't use the e twice. Put it together once and it both says eh and helps to make the a long. However, in words that add a consonant, you will just add the f. Here are some more words that we'll see in Romans that have a few things to notice. C as s because it's before e and the second word has the f sound of th and an o mush to a schwa a. Try them now. Grace commendeth. Therefore, being justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom also we have access by faith into this grace wherein we stand and rejoice in hope of the glory of God. And not only so, but we glory in tribulations also, knowing that tribulation worketh patience, and patience experience, and experience hope. And hope maketh not ashamed, because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Ghost, which is given unto us. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. For scarcely for a righteous man will one die. Yet peradventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But God commendeth his love toward us, in that, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Much more then, being now justified by his blood, we shall be saved from wrath through him. For if, when we were enemies, we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, being reconciled, 
we shall be saved by his life. And not only so, but we also joy in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, by whom we have now received the atonement.